Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Kyo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long. If I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we? I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Thanks to your work on the Comsat, Anvil Squadron heard our call, and with Lyndon Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial Fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight, because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic, but here it is. The moon is highly unstable and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet. And the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. You should know, Linden always speaks... ...spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. <sighs> I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Linden was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now.
We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter, there isn't much time. Come on, look at me. I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you gonna do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shaddaa? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. It's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next would be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunny, Keo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go. Ain't every day you crash a Starhawk into the moon. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-Wing, Y-Wing, U-Wing, A-Wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Sindula to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a Minoc. Its shields are too strong. We've got to fly under them and hit the home dead on. Take out the Star Destroyer's shield generators. That'll give you a clear shot at its systems. Right. If we knock out its targeting or power systems, it'll give our other ships a better chance. They're locking onto me. 
officers. That would make this easier. It's time. Vanguard, blast that Star Destroyer call with everything you've got. Anyone behind? Get to that signal. Beams, no joke. How did you survive this? I 
Yes. I helped build it, remember? And I was damn lucky. How's our Starhawk doing, Otto? We're getting there.
like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. 
from Nadiri, Commander Jace will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era.